Hello! Welcome to Down with Dragons here on Monsters of Roll on Twitch. It's Tuesday. I'm DM Scott, and with me, as always, Adam playing Loon Sensino, Peacemaker. Crit. <laughs> playing Theobald Blackstaff. And Mick playing Callan Den, the Fool. Yes. So it's been another week since we all got together. A lot has happened, but before we dive into that, I actually have quite a bit of inspiration to give out tonight. Ooh. Wow. Cue applause. Mm -hmm. Thank you for actually going with that. <laughs> uh, we have a viewer who uh, was catching up, apparently. Uh, uh, Reed, if uh, he's given out inspiration before, uh, and I'm, I'm going to go out because in the email he explained why he was behind so many episodes. Uh, apparently, his wife is pregnant with their fourth child. So, congratulations. Wow. Yeah. Congrats, right. bro. So, he's been a little busy with uh, his kids, apparently. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Yeah. Weird, right? I don't know. <laughs> Um, so first inspiration is going out to Theo, Chris. Good, 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 good. Wow. He Whoa, deserves it, them. It, let's be nonchalant. Let's not make it. <laughs> Both. Thank you. Bold. Thank you. <laughs> uh, for always being the one who uh, has the strategy to keep uh, the group alive. <laughs> uh and uh -huh. with with that uh because uh some of it is a little truncated um that really sums it up um uh, trying to look for the other part that i had highlighted best way to go oh uh and then with the uh last ep uh, episode before last episode uh Taking in uh, where uh, opponents were sneaking up on you and twisting that into a plan of laying in wait, letting them think they had the upper hand. Well, really, you guys did. Um, Callan. Uh, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Sorry, I'm re I'm re as I'm rereading it. <laughs> um, Figuring a lot of feelings for you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a mixture of things. Um, the B and E at the uh, Hell's Bells, mm -hmm. uh, and how that all worked out into both the creation of really full formed what's in Callan's mouth. But with that, what happened with that ball? Uh, that small, small little ball. Uh, yeah. And then also in the woods after that fight and everything happened. Um, scaring the bejesus out of Theron and him running into the night. Um, he wanted to give up on him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just touch base, you know. <laughs> uh, and then Loon, uh, stay like uh, his main thing is how well you are staying in character and the fantastic role you used when like in that moment after that fight staying in character of like why do you guys always have to like we don't have to kill things all the time and healing the the dragonborn the the blind dragonborn mm -hmm. and trying to question and you are truly the peacemaker well and thank you <laughs> yeah so you have one as well and then i, I get one but there are caveats <laughs> oh there are caveats you like caveats it's to Diana. Diana. Uh, and do the fact I'm getting he he hasn't he hasn't fully caught up. He has a, a, about he's an hour into last episode at this email. <laughs> uh, he he uh, running into the mine after Callan's image disappeared, and then meeting up with Loon and taking out that prisoner and still coming back and trying to figure out what her deal is, what she is or whatever, and just hoping that some cool stuff can happen with her and maybe that inspiration will help her in that fight. Would have been useful. That being said, I have made one reroll because this would have been maybe potentially useful for her. 
It did not go great. Mm. But <laughs> a role has been changed due to that inspiration that I, I gave to her. Um, so yeah, uh, that being said as well, uh, what's in Callan's mouth? He has also had an addition which has been put into the chart, which Yay. is so much fun. I hope it happens. <laughs> let's make it so, happen. Yeah, let's make let's make it happen. Um, that being said, uh, just kind of going back into that, I'm going to share my screen here in just a moment. I need to move that and get rid of that. Uh, for anybody who would like to give inspiration to our players, they uh, or or the DM, who I will greedily take as well, uh, <laughs> just send an email to down with dragons mailbag at gmail.com and in the subject line inspiration or to add to the ever growing chart of what's in Kellen's mouth. Also, in the same email down with dragons mailbag at gmail.com in the subject line put Callan's mouth <laughs> those yeah. are where you can send those i uh I'll eagerly await any additions to either inspiration or to that chart that is growing and getting more can and I, more weird I can i just uh, how many inappropriate things have been sent all of them i mean <laughs> I, I have to imagine there's been a couple you know um, who you are <laughs> um, i'll be honest i'll be honest uh i i left a nice open area in the chart where i could oh. easily for any submissions they immediately go into the chart uh -huh. um so far there is only one that i had to tweak a little bit so i feel it's more appropriate wow but okay i i our, it's still our, a good one, even though I our tamed fan it down. Base is a, is, yeah, okay. A small amount of faith in humanity has been restored. <laughs> um, that being said, the one I had to tame down, unfortunately, was for my daughter. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh. That's what I was going to guess. Chris almost <laughs> spit out his <laughs> Great idea. Um, <laughs> despite what the subject matter was i feel i raised her right <laughs> yeah. all right yeah cool i put it, put it this way i i am attaching anybody who has sent in uh what's in callan's mouth i am attaching your name to if we ever roll on the table and yours suggestion comes up i will kind of give you credit for it's being used um <clears throat> When that one happens, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we should have said that before we started putting saying stuff in. Oh, yeah, that's not my problem. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. DM takes responsibility for the ones he thought of, but I am willing to share the blame for the ones that I didn't think of. Uh, that being said, all right. Good to know now. Thanks, yeah. Scott. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Last time on Down with Dragons. Uh, a battle ensued oh, deep in the uh, once collapsed silver mine to the north about a day of Highport our group found a ritual that was in full swing they arrived just in time to see its conclusion which brought a monstrosity back or summoned or however you want to look at it a grotesque hulking zombie of sorts which very quickly escalated as it wasn't just a zombie it was also a vessel which upon the next step of that ritual a somewhat familiar uh presence took over and filled the vessel <clears throat> of this hulking monstrosity. During the fight, which was fairly uh, uh, deadly and uh, troublesome, <clears throat> the creature continued to evolve and turned into a half dragon hulking monstrosity and was able to summon all of the uh, fallen cult members that were part of this ritual 
um, Theobald was able to, between his maiden and the staff, able to uh, rid the uh, small problem of these uh, zombie cult members. Uh, during the fight, uh, blows were exchanged uh, by both sides. Uh, Diana made her way in to assist the group, uh, which was quickly, uh, after dealing her own blows to the creature, was cast asunder and smashed into a stalagmite left unmoving on the ground in the moment, but in the heat of the battle was overlooked. Members went down, brought back up, and another hooded figure assisted showing up in the 11th hour as this creature was trying to uh, escape this large chamber. And through the combined efforts of this new uh, hooded figure and the group where they were able to stop and destroy this monstrosity. Only revealing it was a shadow of Callan's past. Uh, every Lowe's or every, I, I know I'm saying it wrong. Every Lowe's? Avri. Avri Lowe's. Yes. I apologize. Um, from his past, but unfortunately very little time was given for any kind of reunion. Uh, she warned him of things he may not be aware of that was still happening and urged him to like, we need to go. He followed, they ran out, Loon quickly following and Theobald also starting to move forward and keep pace, but then turning back to Diana on the ground, unmoving. He did what he could, checking to see if she was okay in the moment. Hard to tell. She seemed, unfortunately, lost. Picking her up and trying to catch up to the rest of the group. That's where we're going to catch up with our heroes as Theobald is carrying the broken form of Diana out of the chamber, just passing this what's left of this scaly monstrosity that has been burned and beaten and you start up the path leading towards the surface Theobald what do you do um hesitate and pause and look down at Diana and look at the unmoving body on the ground in fairness other a bring down sacred flame on the on the abomination so yeah you turn and you you get that once again that echo of both the maiden and a vibration in the staff that you're kind of half cradling as you carry and this sacred holy fire lights up and starts to burn this body in divine light and fire. Turn and carry Diana's body up the rest of the incline. Okay, you start moving up. Callan, you are in the lead. You are kind of uh, trying to keep up uh, a mixture <laughs> probably of both Adrenaline from the fight, nearly dying yourself. And now this image of Brunke, but it's not, it's someone younger. You're, uh, like the memories are swirling and you're getting kind of that mixed feeling of both like, I know this person, this, this is family, but also of just, there's so many holes in your memory because you were such an early age. Oh, so I'm running with her. And, yep, uh, she's urging you on. Yep. Uh, whoa, whoa, come on. What do you even mean? Uh, and uh, her nickname, I, re I recall, was Tree Bark. So I, I call her by that. Uh, wh what, what do we have to run from? Come on. Every day I can remember from 
after you, I, and the others got separated, I've been surrounded by people telling me, you don't understand what you're doing and you don't look here. It's too dangerous for you and put that down. It's not yours. Oh, all my life since then, I've been scolded for being a fool, for just trying to understand by wise men who think they seem to have the height of wisdom just by obsessively avoiding doing anything they could do to, to appear uh, remotely foolish. That's not how you learn anything. I hear you, but as strange as da and dangerous as what was going on back there, uh, that's the closest thing I remember from our, that's the closest thing I've ever felt to what I remember from your and I child, ho childhood home. And now you're here. I don't believe I have anything to fear. What could it possibly be? Um, yeah. <laughs> so as, as like, she's like pulling you along and as you're uh, like getting all of this out, some of this energy is almost deflating the speed of which you're moving. And she starts to leave you a little bit in the dust. And then you see, as you're rounding a corner, going back into the actual mines, she just, she just comes to a, a halt suddenly. And you see her head just go down and she pulls her hood back and you can see she's got uh, very like, think uh, very Viking of like the, the braided real tight to the scalp and braided uh almost not a mohawk but you know what i'm talking about uh <laughs> braided yes. back and she just turns back and you can see now she's got uh quite a few wicked looking scars across her face one that actually exposes some of her teeth and is kind of bending back and ripping back her uh kind of smile or mouth and she just looks back and you can't like, it's not a smile, but you can tell like kind of a grimace of pain in, in everything you kind of just vomited on her. <laughs> I, I know it's a lot. And I know you've had a difficult life. But I'm telling you, you've been one of the more fortunate of us. And you're, you're not aware of all the pieces that are happening. And she walks up to you <clears throat> and reaches out her right hand and like, just take my hand. And assuming you do. I, yes. I take her hand. You immediately start to feel a vibration and an itching on your skin. And she kind of peels back some of her sleeve. And you can see her, a tattoo on her, very, very similar to yours, that is spiral, spiraling around her wrist and working towards her hand. And as you see that and look at yours, you can see yours is doing the same. And there seems to be almost a, like, without actually casting light, <clears throat> almost to be like, like a light as the tattoos kind of wrap around each other and circulate back down. This is a burden none of us wanted, but we have. And there are a lot of things in motion, a lot of scales that have been unbalanced that unfortunately we're part of the tipping point. And right now, and she kind of just looks past you back down the tunnel and Loon, you are now just kind of getting up and see them standing yep. there. What they put in motion hasn't stopped. And there are a lot of things in the forest that are coming here. This, I'm sorry, has to wait a little bit longer. And I she's going to that. then They're start coming here, turning. So what the hell are we standing around for? Keep on moving. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to, with a, like kind of an apologetic look of like, we can't do the rest of this now and start pulling you. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So moving, <laughs> moving. 
Um, you and her and now Loon all get to the mouth of the cave. Uh, Theobald, how quickly are you trying to move? Or are you... Uh, when I realized that... Uh, did I... So did I overhear her anything that she was saying about... You're far enough back as you turn back, did an examination on Diana. No, I didn't hear any of this. Nope. I, I'm just being careful I don't trip in the dark and drop a body. As far as I know. Yep. We got to go, but normal there's no speed. clock. Yeah. Yep. Um, so as you're out there, <clears throat> you'll see the all the horses of yours have been brought that are they're right here at the mouth of this cave. And she immediately, she's like, she's like, come, come, we have to hurry. Um, Loon, Callum, roll me a perception check real quick. Mm -hmm. um, ah, 17. 17? 11. 11. Uh, so yeah, uh, Callum, you're, you're still a little bit in a daze. And you're just kind of following going through the motions it really stuck in your own head and as you're kind of okay okay you can't go over to your horse and start to mount loon you walk over to your clydesdale <laughs> <clears throat> and immediately you start to hear the sounds of different uh wildlife but not natural sounding like okay Imagine a wolf trying to howl with its throat ripped out. Imagine, I mean, not good things. Mm -hmm. And they, they're not super close yet, but you can start to hear can, things. Can I get can I judge by like what I'm hearing? Kind of how long do we have before we're we're we are screwed? Roll me a survival. Survival, yeah. All right. Uh ooh, 19 plus five for 24. Nice minutes minutes maybe uh yeah i'm gonna kind of okay. <laughs> uh, the lady myself Theobald's not here Theobald. yet. wait 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 Theobald. i run back into the cave to try and okay you guys wait wait uh, hey uh, no no don't wait uh, get out of here we do not have much time we will follow you as quickly as we can Okay, you, you're gonna uh, and I, I, I gonna turn back into the cave. Man. Yeah, you're turning back into the cave. You take off running. Uh, Callan, you're on your horse now. Uh, kind of you know, him running back in. You you look towards where Loon just went and look back, and she she is giving you a look of like, let's go. Like, I, if you want to go, let's go. Let's we should go. Like, he's just, right. Let's go. We have we have the earrings. You can call it to me. Tell me where you're going. We'll follow. Uh, that, was that a broadband? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. What, uh, what's going on? I don't feel good about taking off, but I'm gonna I'll start, let you know where we're going. Started a jog. This doesn't sound good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the hell? <laughs> so I'm coming in. There are creatures out here that uh, we, we do not have much time. Uh, with all that being said, Theobald, uh, roll me Three. a perception with disadvantage. Uh, that would be a. 19. 19. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, you start to hear this and you're like, oh, oh what, what's going on? Like, got, well, you know, we're leaving. Okay, yeah. And you start to pick up that pace and start to move. Um, you're going to notice uh, the limp body in your arms start to not be so limp. <laughs> um, you, you get, you're getting to the mouth and you can start to actually now beyond just the earring here loon in the distance like they're old they're old you know we gotta go it's a weird there's a oh, horrible horrible things are coming you know i might have a problem here yes problems problems coming yeah callan uh uh avery is just starting to like she turns and she is starting to like kind of that kind of a kid who's like come on come on you know the horse is doing that little prancing sidestep of like come on you know we got we got he's right we gotta go and no no we can help them we don't need to run off I, i'm gonna help my friends she looks very frustrated uh, she's uh -huh. like, okay uh theobald uh in that moment loon as you see all of a sudden 
Theobald breaks through that uh, side tunnel now into the main cavern's tunnel, <coughs> turning, Look, and he ball. looks, his eyes are big, and he looks a little worried. And it's right at that moment, you also look and you see uh, Diana, her eyes are open and she's look looks is looking up at Theobald and then looks over at you. Diana, you are you are awake? Uh, fantastic, let's go. Theobald. Are her eyes glazed over? Uh, they, oh, they're, yeah. they're f- I, I, I don't suppose in my panic I would recognize anything immediately wrong. You would. Oh, there's not wrong. Oh, Actually, just... the last time you saw her, her eyes are blazing blue and glowing. Say the word. The eyes, they're not. Sibold. What's going on? Keep, 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 keep. keep uh, they're blue. Bite me. I'm going to keep moving. <laughs> Guys, uh, keep so moving. you can keep moving. And then very quickly, there's going to be, you're going to feel a hand grabbing at the back of your armor and just starting to like just pull and struggle like trying to sit up and is now not a willing passenger oh, okay diana we gotta go and i hope i'm just praying that there's a diana on the other side of those eyes yep um okay roll uh you get to make athletics or acrobatics oh no <laughs> she's a This is a 12. Um, oh, I, didn't, I didn't roll hot. I got to look up her athletics. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's still better. <laughs> it was a low roll, but you know, she be a thing. Uh, yeah. So her all of a sudden, like as she grabs the back and you're just Diana, like we got to go. Come on, focus. You know, all of a sudden you hear this bassy, deep growl start to emerge and you feel yourself pulled off of your feet as she is wrenching your armor backwards and you see loon or loon you see theobald's legs almost go out from underneath them as like just this pull lever force of just and you like you both go toppling down to the ground um uh 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 yeah, uh, I'm in there trying to break it up. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, I, I'm gonna tell get me what in. you're doing. Yeah, I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna try and break her grip, and like, even if I have to like throw her against the wall to get him up. Like, I'm trying to remove Diana from Theobald to get him up and moving. And if I can do it in a fluid way, trying to like pin her to the wall, like, what the hell are you like? What are you like? Okay. Um, are you trying just for clarification before we yep. start making some interesting rolls? Uh, are you trying to hold her against the wall? Or are you trying to throw her off of him? I want that clarification because you kind of describe both. I would want to hold her up against the wall because, as far as I know, she's still she's still fair. Okay, know. so first off, make me an attack roll. Oh boy, uh, 12, uh, 16. 16. Uh, okay, that'll hit. Now, make me an athletics check. Okay, this die is doing very well. Athletics is okay, so that's an 18. That beats hers. Ow, so, ow, ow, ow. now make me an acrobatics check. She hasn't clawed you yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, all right, cat in my back. Ow, we've all been there. <laughs> all right, hold on. What's going on now? What was that last roll I had to make? Now uh, an acrobatics check. Acrobatics. All right, cool. This is that finesse and joint lock and twist and... 22. 22. This die is hot right now. It's going to kill me later. There you go. (laughs) All right. So, yeah, you come running in and just kind of slam into her just with your mass as, like, she's pulled Theobald to the ground and she's coming and turning and about to, like, just be fully take top. And you ram into her roll with her take her wrist twist it and push her against the wall and you're kind of holding her in a a reverse arm lock with her face against the wall and just holding her there yeah she is freaking out no Uh words and is almost like biting at the wall and the towards you and you can see there are long canines that are grown in her eyebrows are thick 
do I know anything about her current condition? I know. Does Loon know? <laughs> well, sir. Make what? What? what me yes. A religion check. Oh, for, for no, that's not going to work. We all know this isn't going to work. Uh, yeah, religion at a negative. You have inspiration one. if you really want to use it. I mean, that was a pretty good. <laughs> I'll have a few. I'll, you know what? Screw it. I'll blow. I'll, I'll blow uh, baiting is a. I rolled the same thing. <laughs> Two fifteens for a total of what is my religion? Negative one for fourteen. She'd be crazy. <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, battle lust or like I I don't know. She she is definitely just fully in feral mode. And I mean, you saw a little bit. You don't know exactly what she was doing and what she was channeling down there, but some weird stuff yes. uh she she doesn't here. seem to be her in her right mind okay uh theobald <laughs> you're on the ground and just this all just you know this weight got taken off of you yep. and A he flash is holding of giant and 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 and, and snarl and gone <laughs> Theo, diana diana trying to get our attention that we have to go I've, i'm gonna be treating this as a like a berserker out on the field but absolutely uh Loon, yeah. get her towards the entrance. Let's go. I uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna try and strong arm her with us. I'll if I if I have to, I will knock her out if I if I if it's possible. Let's start off with that athletic check because you're trying to force her before trying you go to, to the knockout. Out. Ooh, that's not Ooh, a good athletics. That's a that's nine. an amazing one. Yeah, uh, she, she obviously beat the one, crap out of me on this one. D four. Uh, yeah, so. As you start to strong arm her and like Theobald and you're kind of like, you know, like we got to go, let's bring her to the mouth of the cave, you know, all that. Callan, you're hearing some of this because mm. um, it's raised voices. It's echoing, maybe not exactly the words, but you're hearing some of this. And then you hear a guttural, almost like from like, like a, a mountain lion kind of you know, as mm -hmm. Loon, you are knocked off your feet and knocked against the opposite wall as she ah. rips herself free of you and throws you back. Ow, ow, ow. And then is turned and looking at both of you, teeth bared, eyes glowing, and it looks feral. Or feral. If you're not feral. Feral. Sorry. What is it to dip one of those darts again? <laughs> is that a bonus action? <laughs> to dip? Yeah. It's an action it's a, in combat to do it. That's taking a thing, unstopping yeah. it, pulling out a dart, going boop, boop, boop. No, <laughs> no that's not uh, a quick little thing. <laughs> can, I use a, can I use? Oh, wait, I don't have any key points left. Dang it. The um, going to try to uh, speak a, a word of command. Ah. Ooh, okay. That. There we go. That a boy. Uh, wisdom? 14, yeah. 16 i rolled a natural 14 oh, uh rough. ironically though uh what command like what do you say calm you see as like she just growling you can see spit just dribbling from her mouth and she's staring at both of you back and forth and back and forth and then you your voice kind of reverberating in an unnatural way as you issue the command calm and you can see for a second, just her head, just. And then she starts to follow almost like a, like a sound. And then darts off back down into the cave, back towards the other, the, where you guys all were. See, but we don't have time. We cannot chase her. There are things out there. Uh, go, it's obvious. Uh, go, you... go, loon, go, go. Cannot just behind. leave you. Go. I think, uh, you Kellen, out sound, of here. Kellen, you need sound, to go. Kellen I need to protect have, him. Kellen would have run in at the sound and. Okay. Yeah. Kellen, you dismount, just come take off running. And as you take off running behind you, it's like, what are you doing? Look, we don't have time for this. And you're, you're in, you're already in. And just oh, as die. you get to the, like <laughs> where you can see them, you see those glowing eyes and then take off. And then hearing like go, just go, just go. Like I can't leave you, and you know, you all of that. What happened? What? What? What's going on? Heading. I'm heading down the shaft. 
see if I can see where she's going. Okay. So Theobald takes off, loon behind you here, Callan just, what is going on, you know, and, and Diana's crazy and she ran back into the thing and we have to go get her and, and Loon, Callan, Loon, Callan, go, I'll be, I'm just going to check and then I'll be right behind you. Go, What do you go, think go, you're going go, to do? Go, 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 go. Uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, come on, nope, Loon, let's go. <laughs> not, okay. I cannot leave him. <laughs> but, but, uh, we have to go and he said, let's go. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's like a squirrel in the road, like, get, 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 yeah. boom. Oh, good, good, and good. I, go, I, I will go with Callan. <sighs> wait, but wait, what are you thinking, Loon? We can't leave him behind. <laughs> you son of a, would you just make up your mind yourself? We need to go save him or we need to go. Fight, and I grab him by the collar and I yank him with me as we go. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. We're going after Theo, and I and I have to sing a little song while I'm dancing. I we all have a mutual interest in doing you. this cooperatively. <laughs> yeah, change the lyrics for copyright reasons. I just need no. to get down to the bottom ah, and just see, like has she bolted out of clever. sight? In which case we're oh we'll go. very quickly like uh, she's. Move, double move. Like it's right. like a bullet. Up, 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 up. Go, go, go. I'm going to turn around and be booking it up the. Up so, the, yeah, as up. you two, just, like he grabs and you start to go down, all of a sudden there's Theobald, like just go, go, go. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you kind of all like ram into each other and then momentum shifts and you, you start to come out. And as you all get out of the cave, and start to re mount up for some of you mount onto horses all of a sudden uh a weirdly grotesque hair missing in parts part of its ab like ribs exposed a wolf comes leaping down from the cave and a arcane bolt of an arrow slams into it and slams against the wall you see aubrey is just she's like it's time to go <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Howls yeah, and groans are echoing everywhere I'm around. Checking you. Callan at his horse as I try and like <laughs> mount mine, and one just leap. Uh, would would I recognize that that wolf might be Diana? Or? I'm sure. Roll, roll me um a perception check. Perception two. Oof. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Diana, no, you know. <laughs> yeah, hard, it, it, a lot of things are happening right now, man. Yeah. <laughs> I know. What do I do? What? Um, okay, let's you, go. Yeah, you're you're in that frantic as everybody starts to mount up and start to move in a direction. You're in, paused, almost just like that could have been Diana, and you start to hear another sound behind you, and this small, almost like. Uh, fox-like creature comes leaping through the air you see it for a moment as a tree branch all of a sudden goes Wah-pah! and you see it slam against the wall and drop <laughs> and then another tree branch go <laughs> wait what whoa, whoa. go, go. Point the trees are... towards... <laughs> this is getting worse and worse we need to go you two don't okay. see that only got... Callan oh. saw that we gotta go it's time to go we're fooling around guys it's time to go so you all take <laughs> off Fast pace. Uh huh. Blackstaff out shooting where I get a shot at. Okay. Uh, where I get a shot. Uh, Everyone yeah, roll I'm, initiative. I'm, I'm, oh boy. This is going to be a skill check challenge. Okay. So that's. <sighs> All right. Cool. Um, I'm going to give you guys the choice either uh, with Aubrey uh, being part of this, she can give you re rolls in uh, perception or survival or. I can put her part of the initiative, but her losses count against you as well as her successes count for you. Your I'd call. Ra- yeah. Mm. I, personally, I'd rather have us be the ones to make this fail. I understand. I'm just throwing the options out. I mean, yeah. the DM has a whole ton of inspiration he's sitting on. But... <laughs> <laughs> Who says I'm using them? <laughs> I think assist on perception or survival would be fine. Yes. Okay. So you have yes. potential reroll on either perception or survival one Beautiful. free reroll on either of those skills 
I won't be using any of those. Okay. <laughs> I, I should have. I can use one. Um, I've got a fifteen. A. Callan. Callan has a nine. Gosh, what the balls are gonna do? Here? Ten. No, oh, nice. Okay, so the objective is the of this uh, skill check challenge is to a survive, mm. b get out of dodge. Mm. That's pretty much it. <laughs> cool. Uh, you need six successes, three losses to fail. Yep. All right. So, Loon, first up, you all take off on horseback. Uh, Avri is in the lead. Yep. You are right behind Theo, right behind you, Callan, following in the rear. Right. Um, yeah. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that we're heading on the right track. Survival, obviously, um, just to make get us going home in the right direction. Um, definitely don't want us stuck in this in this any longer than we have to. Okay. Um, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. That is a success. So as you all start to race forward, uh, I mean, at a breakneck speed and dark and i mean it's yeah as you're going you kind of quickly kind of are looking and remembering some of your path and very quickly kind of shout ahead and it's like oh. you know uh, to the right to the right you know and you start to lean the group heading more due south yep theobald but uh as you hear loons shouts ahead to help direct the group you are hearing all sorts of moans and creatures throughout the forest that was before eerily silent now alive with a lot of things what are you doing um i'm gonna help perceive uh just kind of look out uh, i'm gonna call it on the channel keep your eyes open uh Yell out if you see something. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled and see if anything's coming close and try to blast it before it gets within, before it gets up to any of the horses. All right, roll me a perception check. With advantage? Nope, Owl is not out. You said you have... uh, with Avery? Oh, uh, that's a reroll, but if you just oh, wanna use it as, adv yeah, right. it's a reroll. No, that's all right, that's all right. It's kind of a free, if you lose on one of those, you can summon I would her. like to use a reroll. Okay, what did you roll? I rolled a five plus Oof. my six would be eleven. So okay. Now could he use an inspiration on top of the re-roll if he wanted to? I'm gonna say it's one or the other. Okay. All right. I would I, like to I, try to use a re-roll. Okay. Reroll. <laughs> so dice. the re-roll is been used. Okay. Help him out, Ivory Lewis. That'd be an 18. Yes. 18. Uh yeah. So as you you're all racing forward. You're hearing all the different sounds and you're like, everyone, you know, keep on guard. We got to keep moving, but pay attention. You all of a sudden, just as those words are like leaving your lips and you're seeing this form of like a strange, like more, it's lighter than it should be. It looks like a half ripped apart grizzly bear that is losing all of the belly, everything that makes it heavy and it is leaping towards you and you realize in that moment you're not going to be able to bring your staff up in time and then all of a sudden another one of those arcane bolts slams into it and knocks it just off the path and goes rolling past behind your horse Callan, you see it go right in front of your horse and as you kind of see that and look forward you can see uh every like riding backwards shooting and just kind of gives you a nod and keeps on going so that is two successes now. Callan, your turn. All right. Uh, I am going to use a sleight of hand to just try to throw a garment or something at our, any of our pursuers and send them off the off of our trail or, you know. I would put that more in deception if you're trying to trick them into sure. being... I'll 
I'll go with deception. Okay. I, I know that's not, but just with that narrative, it's like, mm -hmm. eh, more deception. Yeah, I, I mean, I could probably augment it with a minor illusion or something. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so throw chuck this guy at it, make it look like a, a, maybe a giant raptor or something, and then it, it turns out to be a garment that lands in their face, hopefully, or yeah. just distracts them. And the roll is a 21. Ooh. That's another success so yeah as you kind of reach and grab a piece of like a fabric and stuff and just kind of make a silent little pulse of energy you throw it and for for a moment it like it looks like you come rolling backwards off your horse as your decoy appears falling and looking wounded and slams into the ground and you see all these dark shapes start to just huddle over it and just all nice, dude. focused on that and you can see that just the the dirt fly up as they are attacking this and you kind of <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah Ooh, boy top of the initiative loom okay i would you count this as athletics or acrobatics to try and urge my horse on faster seeing as i'm the one making the survival shots to try and like stay on it as it's hopping and leaping and moving oh animal handling that i don't have you are trying to control your animal in a way to make it do things <laughs> that's the way i i mean with what you're yeah i do not have acrobatic i, I oh. do have okay i i would like to Ah, uh, shit. Acrobatical, one of those trick things where you kind of hop off the saddle, kick something, and hop back on. <laughs> oh, don't, <laughs> don't, don't botch it, though. Or I, I do not intend to, 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 to jump off my horse. I really don't. Oh, um, yeah. Let, let, let me uh, add, add to the scene here. Uh, sorry. I, I totally have not. You know what? I am going to do this. Um... <laughs> Oh, nice. nice. Okay. Would you accept a medicine check to provide me enough knowledge to throw darts in such a way that I can cause enough, like, injury to these animals to make them stumble as they're chasing us? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Look at uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Knowing the knowing, anatomy yeah. of something. Knowing, I have uh, very little to help us in this. <laughs> hey, yeah. I am grasping at straws. Grasp away. Okay, that is a twelve. Twelve. All right. I will use an inspiration if that does not pass. I'll inspire you. I will use Don't an inspiration. underestimate yourself. You can do it. That is a seventeen. <laughs> 17 will succeed right, that you is have funny. used an inspiration <laughs> i have used an inspiration all right so yeah <sighs> you as you uh quick grab <laughs> grab a uh uh can't remember do you have uh darts or shurikens or I have, I have darts i, and darts, I have that's the, right. i have them in a pouch on the side yeah. so i can probably reach in and grab a handful so yeah you reach down and throw back uh, like in that moment kind of keeping an eye on something you can see the, this uh, actual human form that is running at oddly ludicrous speed for a human to be Try running and bind at. up the knee or something on the yeah with the dart and you throw and you see the 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 first dart slam into its thigh and you immediately like crap <laughs> <laughs> and then you see Get right behind one. right behind it another one slam right into its kneecap as it's leaping over like a tree trunk and just goes toppling down and like that yep. knee gives in as it lands you have four success hero failures theobald you are <laughs> my heart i hate these skill checks man <laughs> calling owl in up above and ahead uh and i'm looking for a gully or a rock path somewhere we we can uh take a path and hide from what what may be the bulk of the the army here? Trying to trying to use stealth. Trying to. That sounds more perception based. You're is, looking uh, for a place. Really and... Spell check when you attempt to conceal yourself from enemies. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry. All right. 
<laughs> it's all visual based on looking for the right spot versus. I feel you, dude. I right. feel you. Uh, I can use survival now, though, right? It's my. I'm, I'm uh, you can now. He used it last time, so you could use survival this time. I'll use survival, and I will be looking for gullies or rock strewn paths, okay. something that we can hide behind as we're going to. Yep, looking for the natural evidence in the paths and remembering what you've traveled past. Yep. Okay. I need to burn an inspiration because that was a natural one. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Thank you for the inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not using that dice. Thank you, Reed. Yes. <laughs> That'd be a 10. 10, okay. But better than a one. That is better than yeah, a one. That, 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 is, true. that is true. Very, very, so, very true. Yeah, you start to, as you're looking around, you start to see a few like little side trails in the, and and you- This way, shout, follow me. Yep, you shout to everybody's like, oh, over here, over here. And you turn down a path and very quickly, you see it right at the last second, like, oh no, that's a dead end. You know, and turn it, back I'll... off and keep moving. And then you get to- like it almost the the force starts to break a little bit in a natural opening and it's like oh this is a clearing and you're now all fully exposed there's no tree like there's a very big like think a couple football fields size of a wide open space now in front of you easier for oh, us to this is not them. good yeah uh so you have one failure four successes callan you are up uh you just broke into an, a clearing <laughs> Yeah, are our pursuers close or coming at oh, us? Oh yeah, or? they're 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 yeah. all around, man. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, I'm gonna throw one of them a bone, uh, except it's gonna be a crowbar, and just be like, <laughs> whistle here, boy, here, boy, whatever, and you know, just chuck it at their face. Hope they're uh, <laughs> conned into believing it's something yummy. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, with uh. uh can it sleight of hand or performance? Uh, I'd say more performance if you're trying to distract and just be like, here, bro, you know, it's like something to like, this is what you want to catch, you know, <laughs> it's like making it look somewhat alluring. And maybe even in that moment, at, like, as you're about to like uh, making it look like uh, with a silent image or whatever of like, it's a bloody limb, you know, <laughs> get the stick boy. Okay. <laughs> 24. 24 okay uh that is a success that is five successes so yeah you you whistle as something is closing in behind you guys as you kind of broke into this clearing and you're see seeing from the right like there's quite a few uh shapes that are moving in your direction it's like oh this is the wrong way and you immediately just pull out the crowbar and just a little bit of energy and it starts to take shape and look just like a just a bloody piece of meat and you're like you know Hey, this is this is good stuff, and throw it that way, and you all start to take off. And once again, these creatures start to like one of them, like an actual looks like a person leaps up and with its mouth just, and you can hear teeth hitting metal, and teeth cracking, Cling. and rolling to the ground as other things swarm on top, and you are all racing forward. <laughs> Back to you. There is five successes. You you could do this right here. I, only I, one I, failure. Only one. I've got room to breathe. Yeah, Thank really you the only again. thing that still makes any sense because like acrobatics, there's not as much I can do acrobatically. Like I could try and get down on my horse, like to allow it to run more efficiently. Um, that wouldn't be an animal handling so much as just putting my body in a position that makes it easier on the horse. Um but I really feel drawn to survival again. Like it's a new area. Are we still going in the right direction? Is, is, um, like, I just did survival. Like watch. Oh, you, you can't just did do survival. You can yep, still do mind. it. You just can't do the one you did last time or oh, the okay. thing the person did right before you. Yeah. Cause you're not before oh, me. Mick, yeah, that's right, before that's right, me. Yep. So you could. So survival more on the fact uh, on, on, okay. Where are these things coming from? Like, is there a thicker su part? like group of them coming from this side can we try to avoid, like run this circle this way like watching for the ebb and flow of these creatures trying to weave our way through them better kind of a reverse tracking we're not tracking yeah the prey. we are the prey 
We are the prey. Where is the the route? Okay. Cool. Roll that. Survival. All right. <sighs> what was it? Running into their inspiration is what it is. <sighs> okay, twenty three. <laughs> What was it before that? I just want natural to one. Natural one. That's Scott. what I thought you said. What? That's what I thought you said. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's two of them in. Wow. Ugh. Yeah. I told you these. I was rolling hot. They do that, and then they screw me over. So you're all racing forward, uh, Loon. You start to pull in the lead, and you're shouting to everyone to follow you. Yeah. And as yeah. you're racing forward, there's a moment as you start to come to the end of this clearing and are looking for something anything that reminds you of the path you took um and you you see one of these shapes just break through the clearing Mm -hmm. and you have a moment of recognition and you see theron now bloodied pale uh hungry eyes running at you but even in that moment, you kind of, that's south. And just kind of turn your horse and s- kind of smash into the side of him as he's charging you. And you beeline straight south. And um, like within moments, all of a sudden you, you hit a path that you remember Diana taking you on. And it's another five, 10, 15 moments. You're hearing the howls and the screams behind you. And then you start to hear them get quieter and you keep moving, keep moving. And then finally you start to get that sense of that adrenaline wearing off, that exhaustion setting in. You all take a level of exhaustion because none of you have slept. And now it, mm. this, it, it's getting into that early. It's just about dawn. You've been racing now on your horse through the night. And you have finally broken out of the forest and now are going into the rolling plains, into the farmlands, heading south. Um, all of that kind of... <laughs> that exhaustion, that adrenaline wearing off, everything you all just kind of, as you hit that break of the forest into that change in the landscape, just kind of all just, oh, fuck, we made it. You know? <laughs> and you can see just the, the faintest bit of light of the, the soon coming sunrise. <clears throat> That was Theron. Uh, yeah, that I don't was... think he made it to the Abbey. That was Theron. I, I'm I, Loon's in shock right now. Try to pull up next. I, I had to penalize that Nat. I, 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 you know, <laughs> no, dude, no. Like I'm not saying I. That was good. It was great. It was great. I don't like you, but it was great. <laughs> Did anybody other than Moon see that it was Theron? Uh, in in that confusion, um, seeing as what well, you, I mean, Loon, you saw it. You're the one who saw it. There was a lot yeah. of things, and you're the one who was right there. Yep. You saw it. So we don't know what's up with him yet. That's no. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, and- I, I, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not saying it very loudly. I'm just kind of like, mm. it like, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm half hanging onto the horse, half just like that thousand yard stare right now okay sending owl up watch your back trail okay keep urging everybody along as best we can yep uh and and avri uh is also very much like can see you're all tired but it's like we need to put walls between us we need to keep moving and she kind of points towards your uh bag callan Mm -hmm. that's still active um I, unless you guys shut it off that thing's still sending out whatever the 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 the, the energy whatever that they were doing there that's still going it, the book yes uh 
Uh, okay. And even in that moment, if you even just kind of open your bag up, you can see uh, the book's closed, but you can see there's the slightest bit of light coming from between the pages that are all made of that kind of looking obsidian black. Right. So uh, is, is that the danger you're talking about? What do we do? <sighs> we have to shut it off. Uh, I, I, I'm, it's not my, my specialty, but we need to keep moving. We need to get that turned off. We need to find someone who knows something more about it to do it. Because right now, whatever they did, I, I don't know if it was their intention or not. But right now, anything that dies comes back unnatural. Because of this book? From the information I have, yes. Oh. Oh. She just okay. kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Callan's going to just impulsively throw it on the ground and Eldritch Blast it. Okay. Uh, roll roll me uh, an attack roll. Okay. So yeah, you just, uh, and just kind of throw it out and just. <laughs> 21. 21. Okay. Uh, okay. That, well, that's a hit. Um, okay. Um, I got to roll that now too. Uh, nope. Okay. Not for that. Um, you're gonna like, so as you reach out and do that and the, the, your kind of goldish emerald light leaves your hand and slams into the book, it's going to rebound and you're going to be taken off your horse and thrown 15 feet onto your back. And you're going to like, everybody's going to see this and just this sizzling steam coming off of your body and you're going to be laying there and like you know and uh you're gonna take from the fall six bludgeoning oh where are you still from the last healing and everything uh, 16 16 okay you're still you're still conscious good <laughs> yeah. uh you're laying on your back but other than the fall, like, and getting thrown that distance, like, even you're kind of like, am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you kind of... That's not how you oh. turn it off. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you feel in your, like, kind of inside kind of your armor and robes a little bit. You, kinda, you feel it hot as you pull out your flask and kind of drop it. <laughs> it's, and it looks a little singed. It seems to have taken the, the bullet for you. Oh. Oh. And Thanks, it Terrapin. is. Yeah, and it's singed and it's hot. And it's like, it, there's almost a quiver to it as you kind of take it out and you're just like, holy crap, you know? Thanks. Ow. Aha, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, understatement of the century. <laughs> tree bark, what do we do? She kind of like, so like like I said, uh, not my specialty. I I can I can message Brunke and ask for advice, but I'm I don't know if she can get to us <laughs> anytime soon. Kind of, you know, she's like, I wasn't planning on this when I found you again. Brunke's um, alive too. Oh, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, or yeah, she is. Um, yeah, so uh, she kind of like. It, it, um, it, 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 so it, it, we need, we well, need to get this. If we take it back to the scale bond guild, we can find someone who knows what they're doing. You want to take this back to a large city? We heard what she said. It is raising the dead. Who who do you know? Like, what, or we can you call thinking? blank and see if, if see if she can send somebody. Yeah, that yes, would. That might uh, be a better time idea. Down. We can't sit here. We need to get behind walls. I think. Uh, I agreed. I'm gonna uh, it, roll it, it, off it, it, my or post, get down off the horse, cautiously approach the book, with staff in hand. It's sitting there, faintest, faintest glow. Is it open? It's closed. Okay. I'm gonna poke it with this black staff a little bit. Okay. 
I'm going to reach down and pick it up. Okay, pick it up. Uh, you can you can feel a very sickly energy that just makes your st- a little nauseous. It just feels dirty. Okay. Uh, back to the horse and shove it in a saddlebag and climb up. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. All right. Uh, take off. We're moving. Yeah. Not- so you all take off. You're kind of trying to get back uh, to Highport. During this ride, you spoke of sending a message. Are any of you doing that? Just, you know, kind of truncating <laughs> the, the, these, this most of a day travel. Mm. Who do we want to call? Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <appropriate>. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you looking to call? Sorry. Oh, boy. Are we calling Blink? Or are we calling someone else back at Scalebound? What do we think? I mean, you you do have the the armband, yep. the, the cuff from Blink to contact yep. her. Uh, you also do have uh, the earring that can send once a day as well. So you've got options on how and who. So you just tell me if you are and who if you are. Uh, if Blink can help, that would be fast, but I don't know if uh, we can get what we need back at... Uh, well, maybe she can bring someone with. Oh, right. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to activate the, the bracelet. Okay. Uh, give me a minute. Are you going to actually put it in tweet for her form? <laughs> <laughs> the... I will just wing it. Okay. Blink. We've got a cursed item here. Need an expert. And then we're ready for pick up pickup. You got you got like nine more. Uh book causing unnatural death what i got five more back to life back to life bring help there you go yeah wow nice yeah all right so you all keep traveling um during some of that travel and that fast pace kind of uh and theobald you'll be very familiar with this which Maybe for the fact of you didn't have to say anything, you're going to see Avri uh, very much set a pace that is uh, a very grueling, but it is meant for long distance, which is for an hour you all ride hard. Mm. And then for an hour you all just slow trot. And then for an hour you're all off your horses walking. And do any count as a short rest? No, sir. They do not. <laughs> uh, but you'll you'll very quickly. That, I mean, that's a kind of soldier's mentality of like we're not stopping. You're pushing, 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 always moving. Even when you're resting your horse, you're still pushing. Uh, and so you will make for, what? And for Cal is Donald. Kind of point of my scars and her scars and. Okay. Just a short nod. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, sure. I mean, at a certain point, uh, you're not going to get a recognition there much from her. Uh, if anything, uh, she'll put the hood up if you ever point it out type thing. But yep. uh, just to, sorry to the times going, uh, you will hear, because that got interrupted before, she will make a very kind of reference to the fact, Callan, that yes, Brunke is alive. And uh, and I'm sorry. Uh, Kupaleg is as well. Okay. Yes, you said it right. I did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and she's like, um, yeah, and Kupaleg, uh, he's a lot like you, um, but he's in a safe place. He's actually the safest of all of us. Uh, oh. And oh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh my, I, I didn't know what happened to any of you and it's been forever. A lot's happened. Uh, and uh, I really w- wish this was a time we could have uh, all of the conversation and reunion we wanted. Um, but we will, I promise. I promise. <laughs> and like, and you, I mean, it's like little conversations here and there. Um, you will hear the fact that like, as during this pace, especially during the kind of the walking bits, uh, and there'll be time for some of this more later, uh, she will make a reference to uh, Kupaleg as well, that he's at a monastery. Uh, he's been there for years, um, going by uh, a given name to him, uh, Murdit. He's uh, at the open way, um, but he's there. He's safe, oblivious to everything. Um, Brunke has been searching for all of you for th- the entire time. Uh, and she'll make little references to the fact of that she's like, if you like talking about her bow, any of that, she's like, she's made a deal. And she kind of says, like, I can, I can see you have too. It's on you. Hmm. Um, just. It's- it's more like a business arrangement, you know? She's like, yeah. Um, yep, I can appreciate that. Hopefully we get the upper hand eventually. Um, uh, but yeah, that's all. I mean, very squeezed in, time's mm-hmm. going. Uh, so you you make it back. By the time you get back, uh, as you get to the main gate and the door is open, the second you actually are getting near the gates. There is no who goes there, anything like that. The door is open. And as the door is open, you actually see uh, inside there are a few figures standing there. Uh, one is uh, the is Godfrey. Do they have glazed eyes? Uh, why do you have to ruin it? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> uh, standing there uh, and neck uh, kind of behind and around him, there are a few other figures. Uh, one, as you get in close, and you will very quickly see uh, Apex is standing there. Uh, mm-hmm. Kind of just standing there, kind of relaxed attention, kind of just waiting. Uh, next to him, there is a tiefling woman who, uh, very red skin, is wearing uh, a kasa, if you're familiar, a Japanese hat. Uh, I mean, looks very samurai-esque, sword, ah. horns coming through, uh, standing there. Uh, next to her is Blink, who looks a little, like, a little disheveled, a little, looks a little tired, and is talking quietly to, very quickly, you see Silly as well. Huh. Uh, as you all... my horse on the other side of the group. <laughs> uh yeah you all you all uh see them and very quickly um apex will kind of wave to you all it's like curse book uh so, uh, it was uh, i'm trying to figure out what they were talking about but it's not about a curse book uh and godfrey was like oh thank god you all came back we were getting worried there uh, after hearing or seeing them all show up and talking of uh did uh and kind of like kind of gets shushed down by apex who's just like yeah 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 scale bound business let's get this taken care of and then you can all have your little party afterwards this mount and pull the book out and check with loon and callan make sure this is okay by them but and then walk it over to the yep to apex okay. and yeah as you kind of walk toward like give that look and just everybody's like yeah walk it towards apex he's like whoa no 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 <laughs> and he kind of just points towards like blink and silly who are still mixed up in conversation hey. uh and as you kind of like see, okay, oh, shit, you know, okay, go towards silly uh she she's like oh she's like oh presents and reaches out and just pulls the book from you and immediately sits down you know kind of legs crossed and sits down and opens the book in front of her she's like oh why have you brought this to me this that i shouldn't have this this wasn't for me why why would i have this this is nope this shouldn't be mine what uh and kind of looks at everyone confused a little bit she's like what am i why 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 
Okay, um, Callum. And why is in. it running? Why would you turn this on? Why would you leave it on? And you see her just kind of flip a few pages, and she's like, and all of a sudden slams the book, and it, you see that light's gone. And she's like, "This, that's dangerous. Why would you leave that on? That's light's then, gone. Is, yeah, the light's gone in the book. It, Thank you, Celie. We had no idea how to turn that off. You just turned it off, right? That's that's what you just did. I did. And she looks down. The there book, is no like, more light. And she sits back down and starts to open the book again. She's like, I didn't know it turned off. How would it turn on? That's so interesting. It turns on and off. And I wonder. So she starts to page through and behind. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, out from just a small little side bag, uh, all of a sudden, a large, almost looks like like a steel, you know, thing comes out of a small little bag and just poof, and takes a necklace off with a key in it, opens it. And she's like, yeah, we should put it in here. Um, that'd probably be safer. Silly, I promise you can probably look at it all you want later and turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. Uh, you could probably make it do a dance. And she's like, oh, books that dance. And she just <laughs> totally starts to like pull out a notebook oh, and just start boy. to write things. Yep. That's they shut it, silly. lock it. And once again, into this small little leather bag, she puts this thing all the way into it. And she's like, so uh, you, you look like you've all had fun. Um, you all look almost dead. <laughs> I don't know if any of this is real. I'm uh, gonna... she'll, she'll walk over and just smack you in the face. <sighs> <sighs> You'll hear just a... Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's okay. I've been there. <laughs> the things that are out there, the things that this called up, would they, are they done or are they still roaming? You know, <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Blink kind of with like her purple hair and long ears kind of just looks back towards silly who's sitting and just scribbling at a frantic pace she's like um uh, uh captain uh kind of towards godfrey and he's like i i uh we'll we'll send out a few patrols uh out in the countryside see uh what we could find uh do you have any uh direction uh where best to look we haven't uh, had any problems uh last night I think we drew most of them up north into the forest. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them. Don't send anybody in small groups. And keep an eye out for Diana. She got separated from us. But I think we led them off away from her. But I, I, uh, I kind of re, you see him retaking stock of all of you. Oh, no. If yeah. Anybody well, can get back. It's probably her. But I. I'll, uh, I'll help him appreciate the situation. I'll use minor illusion to do like a PowerPoint uh, mission briefing montage for him and show oh, awesome. him locations, <laughs> uh, what we faced, what they look like. And... Do the pictures come in all spinny and then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I swipe them. <laughs> Star fade and yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes. Love it. <laughs> so yeah, he was like, all right, all right. Yeah. Um, all right, we'll send uh, we'll send we'll send a large group with a few fast riders just to lead and uh, see what we can find. But nobody uh, that'll be too far away that they're isolated. We'll we'll leave uh, leave as soon as we can. Keep them at distance if you can. Do not engage in close combat. Thank you for the advice. We'll 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 do the best we can. I and think we wiped out the cult that was creating these things as well. Uh, yes, I saw the the, the 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 uh, uh, PowerPoint. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if he oh. had that in there. Yeah, okay. Oh, it was very very vivid. I I feel like I was. It there. is Kalun. <laughs> he does not leave anything out. In fact, he probably embellished a few things. Uh, I, uh, yeah, he'll kind of very quickly take his leave and start to organize <laughs> things and get going. Uh, you'll see. Then Apex is kind of like he's like. That was uh, honestly the best mission debriefing I've ever experienced. I mean, <laughs> that was hey, really useful. Like, well done. 
Thank you, Apex. That means a lot to me. <laughs> and he just, he, he almost walks away with a little bit of just like, yeah, that really worked. You know, like I, <laughs> I, I get it all. There's no feeling of embellishment or, uh, I don't know. They don't know what they're talking about. It was like visual aids of like, no, no, no. It was horrible. It was big. It was scary scales, uh, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. And so he kind of walks off, uh, and he's just like, I, I, I need a drink. And he just kind of walks off and Blink is staying there, big eyes. And she's like, um, looks back at Silly. Um, she's going to be distracted, I think, for a while. And just kind of like, like a half motherly, like, mm-hmm. isn't she adorable, you know? <laughs> and then yeah. um, you all did really, really well. Um, are you all okay? I mean, you, you look like you all are, are dead on your feet. Seriously, you look tired. Could use some rest and some non-burned clothes. Yeah. Good meal. You were exhausted. Okay. And then, uh, so I haven't made introductions yet. Twenty-four hours. But guys, this is my sister, pointing to Avrilos. Uh, that brings Theobald up short, but <laughs> you'll you'll see kind of that half like. You know, it's just half awkward. You've mm-hmm. seen a lot of confidence in her, and now all of a sudden it's just like. A... <laughs> I imagine your childhood was interesting. Can we please get some food and sleep? Oh, sure. Uh, uh, Blink will just, she's like, I'm not still... willing to deal with that right now. <laughs> like, I, I still have an, um, just enough in me if you want to do it at home, uh, back at the scale bound. Um, uh, otherwise, still check, still check the mayor, make sure he's all right, and I think it's just clean up from this point. All right. Um, Is Garen I'll, I'll wait anywhere near. Uh, I'll wait for you here. Uh, he, I believe, is back at uh, his his estate uh, at his house, and so she'll she'll wait there if you all make your way back towards the mayor's house, uh, going through the. If you don't mind wow. holding off your homecoming till we get back to the scale bound, Callan. Um, she's coming with. Got, do what we got to do. Is that okay with you, uh, Relos? You sticking around? Uh, she kind of takes a deep sigh and she's like, "I can't go back to Dragonlock yet." Um, I honestly, I wasn't just looking for you. There's other things going on up north here, and I was planning on making my way to, towards Beacon. Um, that was the direction Brunke was going last I heard. Uh, what, what's going on? It has to do with somebody who was looking into your marks. Uh, some, uh, and she kind of, you can see her reaching for the, like the name, she's like, uh, Venerick. Um, Venerick, yes. Uh, yeah. Um, Brunke thinks he's dead and is looking into apparently something that, that he's made his way to Beacon, but... Yes, yes. Sh- uh, the Scalebinder, the leader of the Scalebound Guild, he told me that Venerick is not dead. And oh. he's in Beacon. Yes, tell Brunke. Oh, good, go ahead. And, but okay, I will. Um I still don't understand why is she looking for Venerick? Wait, wait. Was she looking for him before? She's been looking, honestly, she was looking for him when she started to hear rumors of you. Uh, I was, um, there's a, a, um, and she kind of puts on a, like, you see a really big kind of grisly smile with uh, the lip and everything. And she kind of puts an arm around you and she's like, oh, I missed you. And starts to pull you a little bit away. Uh, and very quietly, Callan, she starts like, I don't want any of them to hear. I wouldn't trust the scale bound. There are things going on there, and there are a lot of people that are bound. And I don't understand it, but I know there's a lot of weird energies going on there, and I wouldn't trust any of them. Please be careful. We we can't stay together right now. I'm sorry, but I will find you again, I swear. 
Can't you stay longer? Don't go now. I want to, but I I don't think Brunke knows exactly what she's getting to, and she knows more than I do, and we need her to be able to fix everything, and she kind of gestures with, towards your tattoos and just kind of like, there's a lot here, and I don't know at all to explain it well enough. She knows so much more about this than us. Okay. Do you know what kind of help she needs? No, I just know she might. I think she's going to be getting into trouble and someone trying to disappear her. If you lose contact with me long enough, just remember to find Kupalik. Okay. Keep him safe. Because if something happens to us, you two are what's left, and you have to you have to be safe. And she'll turn and give you a really big hug. Like this is the first real affection, and you can feel in the hug, like she doesn't want to let go. And then as quickly as it started, she'll stop and turn and start to walk back towards the towards the gates leading out so as they were having their family moment i would have tried to catch kellen's eye and just nod and, and go try to settle up with the mayor okay uh loon how about you uh it's awkward third wheel or business partner <laughs> right right now it's awkward third wheel he's still dealing with things he's seeing fair um so theobald you make your way to the mayor's house um you tell me do you want to uh, uh go through all this otherwise with I'm doing okay, with okay doing a download of everything yep. and many thank yous many i mean right. no, sure all enough, accolades uh, his son godfrey saw the whole yep debrief and his nose knows what he's looking for and, and we're good so yep and uh gives you the agreed upon uh, 1500 and then an extra 750 just for you. Oof. Like for just how quickly the scale bound has dealt with this and just like, he's like, you don't have to mention this. He's like this. Thank you. And Take the seven, so that 750 is on top of what we were promised. Yep. Uh, hand it back and tell them to get it to Diana. Okay. All right. Okay. And if she doesn't make it back, make sure her brother gets it. Uh, he'll just kind of that uh, worried and just absolutely. I, I have my word. Uh, yep, and then you'll make your way back towards Callan and Loon in the kind of towards the gates to the, the edge of the city. Um, you're gone for half hour, you know. Yep. Uh, Callan Loon, after she leaves Callan, you watch she gets onto her horse and eventually heads out, doesn't restock, doesn't, you know, there's no rest and takes off and as soon as she leaves the gate you can see she starts to go straight east the beacon towards beacon <sighs> loon yeah and you like kind of that the, the gate shut and that huff and turn and you see kind of off to the side loon is also still there uh theo's not there at the moment but uh, I'm blink here, kind of I'm over by here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Blink and Seely kind of off to the side. And every now and then, uh, Seely's making comments about random things. And Blink's just like, yeah, yeah, oh, that'll be amazing. I can't wait to see that. You know, and just very, you know, almost a kindred spirit there. There's something there in their friendship of, you know. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's all like the doting, doting parent almost. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think uh, Callan would have a great time. He would just kind of be overwhelmed and probably yeah. curl up into a ball and cry even because that was pretty emotional. And he doesn't um, he doesn't care if anybody thinks he's weird. So yeah, no, uh, you kind of go off a little bit to the side and kind of that. Like at first, it probably to any spectator looks like exhaustion. You kind of sit, lean against a wall and just it's slide small. down it. And then almost like, is he laughing? Just kind of that, oh my God, the day I've had. And then it quickly turns into just sobs. Yeah. Uh, Theo, you get back and Callan is on one side of the street against the wall, sobbing and just kind of collecting. Uh, and, and Loon's got his thousand yard stare on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, more than likely, I've reverted back to what I can remember, and I'm just trying to do some calming techniques and, and different centering. Make me a con save there, Loon. Okay. Or no, wisdom. Wisdom. Use that role, just wisdom. Yeah, it's not better. Uh, wisdom saving throw for a total of five. Thousand yard stare yeah you yeah. you you might like you might see maybe his hands twitching a little bit and just like you can see th- like but All he's right. not here <laughs> so i'm gonna walk up to loon clap him on the shoulder a little bit yeah suddenly th- We need to get some food and some sleep and things will look a little bit better in the morning. It, it was a lot. I agree. You uh, ready to go? Yes. I, I got, got our wait, payment from the... Where did Kalum go? Uh, he was right here just a moment. He's over there. I'll go get him. You don't worry about it. Let Blink know that we're about ready to go. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to uh, actually yes. hand him the gold as well. Uh, oh. Not oh. that for... <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> mostly in platinum. Oh, well... Item, keep some of it back for, uh, or keep part of our share back for Diana or her brother if she doesn't make it back. So, yeah, yeah it just that seems fair. Clap him on the shoulder again and, and head over to, to Callan. And, right. And I'll kind of just and head over to talk to Blink and, and Seely. Let him know that we're, uh, we're, we're getting ready to be on our way. Okay. Head over by Callan and kind of just kind of grab a get a wall next to him for a minute and kind of squat down next to him and she had to keep going she's got a mission yeah uh you know she's alive now and you can talk to her i can you'll see and her now again. i can't i can't uh up until today i've been able to just dismiss some of the stuff we went through as kids and just forget about it whenever I wanted to. Now she is here and now it's real and I guess it's bigger than I could ever imagine. And uh, yeah, don't talk to my sister, don't. Okay. Just leave her be. Stand back My up. sister, come on. Hold my hand out to help pull him up if he wants. Yeah, he'll it's just uh, he'll just shake off his tantrum, you know, just kind of make some noise with thaumaturgy and make the earth tremble a bit, and then be like, "Yeah, let's go get something to eat." Take my hand. Well, the soldier keeping everybody. head back to head back to Loon and Blink. You all kind of assemble, and as Luna Is already let Gottfried anywhere around, uh, not at the moment. Okay, he, he's getting things organized and getting men situated to head out. Okay. Um, so as Blink was told, she is kind of getting her uh, little area kind of set up and is getting ready to send you all on your way. Uh, she kind of uh, looks at all of you and she's like all right I've only got one more of these in me today so um, and she kind of looks back at uh, Silly and she's like Silly uh, should we go should we go back uh, 
go back uh, home. You, you ready? Um, and she just is still, she just stands up and you can see her getting, you know, putting one piece of notebook away. And then she pulls out of the wand you've seen that spins and all that. And she's just like, you can see wow. just, she is messing Watch with me. things. And she's just like, she's like, yep, yep, we're already late. Uh, and <laughs> she steps into the drawn circle that uh, Blink did with some chalk. Uh, and she looks at all, she's like, whenever all of you are ready. Oh, let's do it. I'll, I'll um, help Silly be less distracted and just say, shall we dance our way out? But, oh, um, and she will grab your hand and she will very quickly just kind of spin herself into your arms, lean back. And then as she comes back, you'll see on her uh, one hand, she's got a uh, kind of one of those full finger rings that has like the metal and all that with all the hinge. And at the tip of it, there's a glowing little crystal and she boops your nose. She's like, boop. <laughs> Roll me uh, the percentile for teleportation there, Theobald. <clears throat> okay. Use my inspiration, right? That doesn't apply. Uh, you did, yeah. Four. Four. <clears throat> okay. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, this is gonna go well. I thought you were gonna have me do it, and I uh, wouldn't have rolled much better. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay. Um. So. So yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me uh, do quick math. Uh, that I'm so strong at. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm sure it's going to be fine. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go with the guesstimation because my math is that good. <clears throat> so you all, uh, like, just as Blink starts to, you can see that energy building and her eyes flash with light and you see the energy swirl around and start to open up. And just as Celie's leaving, she goes, boop, you can see this arc of energy ripple off and rebound within the circle around you. And you can feel Celie get ripped out of your grasp and you all feel like you're in uh, a twister. Whoa. Everyone make me a dexterity saving throw. I'm good at these. Everybody? Ooh, everybody. That roll. Everybody. Everybody. Dexterity yeah. savings roll. Dexterity savings throw. I, I don't know if I want to roll anymore tonight. 17. <laughs> 17. Loon? 12. 12. 15. 15. A month got the worst. <laughs> um, you all all of a sudden you're getting like swirling in this like blue mist and lightning swirling all around. And all of a sudden there's just bright light of the morning air. And then you look down and there's trees rushing towards you. Huh? And you start to hit the canopy of all these trees and are falling, twisting and all land on the ground with just bone crushing force we haven't even slept yet and just as you do there's this other weird energy that like from that boop you can still like you're familiar because you just felt it there callan the rest of you not sure what the energy is mm. but you can feel your skin is crawling welcome to level four everyone ah uh you all are no longer exhausted cool hey. okay you're at full, like a full day's rest. Hit points back, and what? you've leveled up. We'll worry about leveling up later. Do, 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 do. Yeah, do, do, do. Everyone roll me initiative, please. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> We're going to be doing a little bit different version of a skill check challenge. There is no actual format like normal. 30, 20. Dirty 20 for Callan. Sixteen. Fifteen. All right. Uh, 
right. So, <clears throat> as you all are laying there, uh, Loon, you're laying there and you feel like the fall hurts still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you, you, you feel like you just fell and hit a lot of tree branches. <laughs> but, and, and like even that coppery taste in your mouth. But at the same time, there is this weird kind of energy that is just buzzing through you. And you can even feel like, like your, your legs are just jittery with like, let's go, let's go for a run. Let's, you know, let's move. Mm. And you kind of, as you start to the, kind of sit yourself up, all of a sudden there is a hand that is grabbing you, lifting you off your feet, you off of your feet and slamming you against a tree. And you are face to face with a, in furs and scarification pale goliath that is throwing you against a tree and is pulling out an axe and looks like he's about to bring it towards you what do you do uh first thing i can think of is head up to to like block and i'm gonna try and bring the other one up against my arm and push the elbow out to break the grip okay roman acrobatics uh, yeah. as you're kind of using joint locks and just quick counter strikes i'm basically trying to pop his elbow to get the to get or pop his elbow out to get rid of the hand on my chest oh sure okay you said acrobatics yep that is a 17 perfect now roll me a strength check okay. <laughs> not as good <gasps> natural 20 though <laughs> <laughs> okay wow so as you no get bonus. lifted off no your feet and thrown against this tree and he's holding you there you see this axe getting pulled out and coming in yep. you just real quick grab his thumb twist straighten out his arm and you can hear the joint break as you slam oh. not even realizing how hard you hit and him All just reactionary yeah and just lightning fast all that training just taking over. Yep. And as he drops down to a knee, you just hear, ah, you're just screaming. Yep. Callan. Mm. Oh, I actually went out of turn order. I apologize. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to rotate you because I screwed up, even though I have everything written down. Callan 20, Lou 16. So I'm yep. sorry. You're flipping. Sorry. <laughs> Callan, you're up. Okay. Can I just uh, dart in there? And while he's doing that to my friend, uh, Sneak attack him. Oh, uh, yeah. He's very distracted. Uh, <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so, roll me a quick stealth. Okay. Stealth is 22. 22. Yeah. You come running up. Roll me an attack real quick. Okay. What the um, heck is this? With advantage. You're 100%, you know. <laughs> yes. That is uh, 23. 23 you come up behind and immediately just as he's on his knees down and like even on his knees he's almost your height i mean he's a he's you know bigger than loon oh. and you come up behind grab and just pull out one of your knives and just straight across the throat oh okay and i have drops. also oh he just drops he dropped yeah because uh yeah i as part of my attack i applied booming blade to that oh. attack oh okay <laughs> yeah uh, booming blade. remind me real quick if you have it off otherwise i can look it up yep, yep. i can uh it is doesn't add any extra damage right off hand but if the uh target willingly moves after that within the next round the, they, they get another d8 damage thing. thunder damage yeah that's that is he yeah. will not be moving. <laughs> <laughs> Gee. Oh, uh, then so, I don't yeah. know what I did. Yeah. Uh, well, well as, as you, you rip across and he drops, I'll just hang on to it. Okay? Again, with the, we do not it. know who he is. Uh, Theobald, as you're kind of hearing this roar and you hear scream and then uh, gushing uh, uh, and kind of sit up. You look past as Loon is like, hey, you know, it's like, we don't need to kill everyone. You know, you see coming towards all of you, there is a horde 
of these just in furs barbarian goliaths just charging at a breakneck speed pulling out weapons um uh can i healing word on the dude we just down (laughs) set us on oyom made and heal him okay uh but now you're the peacemaker too uh just roll me a religion check a religion with advantage check. this is a very uh simple thing but just roll me a religion <laughs> nine nine okay um as you uh reach out and <laughs> ma- maiden yeah you know, it's like you feel this extra energy buzzing inside of you and it's kind of complicated and it feels really strange but as you cast out you almost feel that energy that kind of uh would normally you'd send out like kind of go back into you but it, you feel it strengthen and you feel kind of a, a kind of a stretching and a growth of your own ability suddenly it does not heal him but you did feel that leveling up, that expansion of your, your spell. And as you kind of feel this and kind of are for a moment kind of exhilarated, like a, just another surge of adrenaline almost of just woo. From all of a sudden a treetop, you see a figure swing across right behind Loon and Callan, uh, go whizzing by. And as he does, you all of a sudden just see he snags something from the ground and a trip line flares up at waist level. And you see all of these, uh, like the front row of these Goliaths just ram into it. And then all of a sudden you hear a tree start to break and fall. And then they get yanked as about five, six of them get yanked off their feet and flung into the woods. What is going on? Throw me everyone. Roll me a uh, survival or history. All right, survival for sure. Yeah, this die has decided it's no longer my friend. 13. History got me a 13. Survival got me a 13. Survival got me a 24. <laughs> Somebody's good. It actually makes the most sense. Feebold, you know these woods. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, um, no. Maybe not this area specifically. But you know these woods. Um, You have, and I'm going to share my screen real quick. Mm. You're in the Deadwood. Uh, For reference, just so everyone at home and you guys know. Holy. That's where you were. Holy That's crap. where you were going. Uh, we're so far away from home. Somewhere in here is where oh. you ended up. I oh, know we're gonna be gone for like six months. <laughs> Alan Loon, this isn't good. I know where we are. Uh, uh okay. Not uh, even we... paying attention to that at this point. I getting I, back I... in the correct order. Callan, okay, your Callan, turn. Callan, yep. Ah, uh, my turn. Um uh, so yeah, we... you just oh, saw oh, these oh. things get yanked. Theobald's kind of fully getting to his feet now and just like, oh, crap. Guys, I know where we are. This is not good. <laughs> uh, so what's going on? Uh, there's still, and, and kind of as you're taking it all in and then look behind you, you are seeing there there is a barbarian horde coming at you. Uh, right. You didn't even qu- see the figure who swung by. You heard something swing by. <laughs> huh. Okay. Uh, I I don't want to hang around for barbarian hordes. Uh, yeah, guy, guys, uh, maybe we should run, run. <laughs> huh? <laughs> um, good idea. Let's go. So you're taking off. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Roll me athletics. You're gonna like. Uh, y- yeah. <laughs> yeah, athletics. Okay. Um, six. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, you're you're more trying to convince everyone than actually like 
right we're gonna start running and you're kind of doing that (laughs) (laughs) guys this is this is the right way right you know Uh um i love it (laughs) uh loon you're up uh Uh, yeah Callan is kind of half i'm not not listening i'm I'm actually facing and what i'm gonna do i'm going to tap a key point i'm gonna do the hands of healing i'm gonna lean down to do the hands of healing uh for one d4 plus three for five on the goliath on the ground not looking at him again i'm gonna turn around and i'm going to plant my staff and just begin into the primordial as a that that semi haka okay roll me uh first off um uh a, a, a wisdom uh god, um god for you you're a monk Wis- wisdom is a lot of your things. let's just go with survival because okay. staying alive uh, survival <laughs> 24 Oh, I should have done medicine. Medicine would have been better. It's the same. It's the same. Perfect. Perfect. It literally is the same. Okay. Perfect. So as you kind of like lean down and focus this energy, you hear suddenly like this, the sound of of gurgling and like a breath being taken in. Mm -hmm. And that starts off wet and just thick. And then all of a sudden just, (gasps) and then you hear a, loud popping and cracking oh, yep. <laughs> and then somebody groaning just oh, oh and you you can hear in giant yep. basically cursing you know <laughs> um yeah I, and oh, then wait, you, i understand this yeah you, you you can hear just like mother <laughs> you know <laughs> for a moment i'm like yeah whatever wait a minute that's not common <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and then you kind of turn and start to go into your yep. form theobald uh callan is you know making his way all of a sudden you you hear the coughing and sputtering and then loon I'm not turn even towards facing the you guys yeah, yeah towards the the mongol horde that is <laughs> what could i add that i would strip the cloak and just down to my bandages and like sure yeah just getting undressed yeah <laughs> No, I'm in my trousers, but like I am trying to like just bear up against these people. Like, all right, I am not like I, something to break whatever it is that they're like all just like let's give a distraction real quick to break that and like try and okay, hold on, what is this going on here? All right, um, people, how many is a horde today? Are we talking <laughs> today? <laughs> talking twenty? right now uh just, right just falling back into my military experience and and just yeah, yeah. judging yeah. quick quickly judging ballpark that's words. running at you right now is an even two dozen Oof. all right not including the five to seven that just got flung into the trees right. oh, yeah. loon loon another time let's go let's try to grab his arm and try to like i'm not not make me an athletic it. sir I'm not accepting it <laughs> Athletics or acrobatics for you then? Uh, yeah, eight. acrobatics for sure. Eight. Uh, 14 plus four yeah. for eight. So he, you as you that. grab, yeah. immediately <laughs> it's just a, just a quick little toss off. And and it's gentle. almost part it's, of the yeah. whole thing I'm doing. Yeah. Like you just can't get your hands. Right, I'm falling, back, <laughs> falling back to the trees and and kind of giving the, the, the staff just kind of that shake to, to find the bowstring. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for beating that. <laughs> so as, as as he's bared and you are doing sad. that, you start to look up and you can see not all of them are charging anymore. Some of them are stopping. You can see these gigantic war bows being drawn back, and you kind of okay and start to back off and I might want to look find some muscles. halfway cover, and they fire and they fly through the air striking all around some very close to you theobald callan as you kind of come on guys come on come on come on <laughs> kind of half trip back and it's like right between your legs and right next to you it's like oh god you know <laughs> that's and my liver be careful <laughs> hardest working liver in the realm <laughs> um you oh, loon as you see this, this and start to have that suck. thought of like yeah oh you know it's like um 
then all of a sudden a figure shorter than you steps and pushes into you and you hear impact as one of these very large arrows slams into him and he kind of pitches against the tree right next to you and you hear a voice that is not accepting disobedience from a petulant child boy run (sighs) uh yeah yep all right yep (laughs) uh yeah is it agenor no (laughs) not agenor who is agenor nope who is it uh yeah this 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 is mr smith this is uh mr Uh, and very quickly you like that shock yeah and your body reacting almost before you can kind of look back again and it's reacting because it's oh crap i know this i gotta go yeah and you see i mean he looks different he's got a very thick kind of out in the wilderness he got old beard unkept he does look old he also has a lot of scarring Mm. uh any chance i I can grab him real quick as i'm trying to run romeo athletics okay not grabbing him as i run that was initial one Oh, yeah, yeah, you kind of half stumble back yourself yeah. and get to your feet. And as you're kind of coming up, you feel done a very that. strong hand to shove towards mm-hmm. you. And Theo, you then see him turn and don't know how, but in just one quick fluid mo- motion, all of a sudden he's got a bow with a lit arrow and releases and all of a sudden there's explosions going on throughout the forest all around smoke starts to fill the air and all of you as you're moving back uh loon very quickly you'll feel that hand as someone's pulling you along Mm -hmm. and you kind of start weaving your way through this forest for close to an hour i be pulling back a little bit to pick up Cal or make sure Callan's getting up and heading in the right direction and not into the smoke. But yeah, <laughs> if you I all, have to throw in directions through the to, through the earring as we go, uh, you all kind of make your way after an hour into uh, a cave, and very low lit fire looks like it's almost smoldering as kind of some quick branches get thrown onto it. And in that illumination, uh, you can kind of see, like, ki- kind of think, like, uh, in the more uh, recent installment of all those Rambo movies, like <laughs> that <laughs> age of Stallone. Yeah. And that no. look was very thick. I mean, this is an older fella. Who's Might as seen well some be hard tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and no judgments. No, no, no. I love. No. I lo- <laughs> Sorry, um, that wasn't meant to be judgy. Uh, uh, yeah, um, old guys are. Yeah. No, he's uh, just got a thick beard, man. Uh, and sitting across from you at this fire, as he kind of just motions for all of you at uh, set. He's like, and I apologize. I haven't had enough time to get the French accent down. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've been trying. I really have. There are people who think I'm insane. Uh, but he just, all of you sit. And you can see there's blood in his lips. I, I Yeah, I'm immediately and, trying to help him. Whatever I can do. Uh, yeah, he just it's like, sit down, boy. I've been fine years without you. Yes, but I am here now. Let me help you. It kind of just turns and looks towards you, Theo, and Callan. I didn't know you were going to turn into a nursemaid. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, so, I have a lot of rules. How the hell have all of you ended up here in the middle of my trap? Um, what well, was your trap set for us? I don't even know who the hell any of you are other than him, and I'm cover up, boy. <laughs> I, yeah, kind of. Uh, oh, cool. um, <laughs> you just put a shirt on. <laughs> I, it got left. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, I start up. looking for something to maybe try and cover up with. I, I, my cloak was on the floor. I didn't have a chance to grab it. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, here I have like. Disguise. Oh, that's right. Okay. You've got like I a dozen. That kimono, that's too small. <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 there you go. Uh, ooh, this is lovely. Here, tr- put this on. <laughs> I hope you still have the mantle. Slapping his hand away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please tell me you have the mantle yet. Mantle. Loon, oh, roll me yeah. a medicine oh. check. Oh, me? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll show it to you. It's a natural 20. So 25 total. You. Yeah. Um, as he is being belligerent and kind of explaining the simple fact that all of you were what the hell uh that he, he was laying a trap for those barbarians that were coming yeah. through uh and ha- that have been on his trail for many a time in this playful relationship they have back and forth <laughs> uh yeah. him talking like it's a playful game but as things get described uh he's like half hunting them uh oh my gosh and uh Mr. Smith. <laughs> you, you'll quickly realize uh as you're kind of taking care of this arrow and yeah i mean it's big it's like a javelin arrow i mean think of like the size i, I would be um, doing it the proper way cutting it and yeah, pounding no, it through and uh you're you're seeing that i mean he's got a lot of scars on oh. top of scars on top of scars like this guy looks like he's what have you done stuff. to yourself in my time away? I left, I left you a much better man than this. <sighs> kind of just, and and not twenty. I'm going to give you a little bit more. Yeah, he's dying. Mm. Um, not from this. It looks like he's got a lot he's of other just, issues. Yeah, and just the lifestyle he's been living. Uh, and you'll see, as you kind of say all that, and he's explained and- everything just trying to keep him away from you boy uh they're, they're still looking for you who is looking for me i know nothing well, I... you never explained any of this to me and yet you expect me to understand what you are saying right now uh and you can see like as he's trying but like looks frustrated looks a little confused he starts to like see him kind of passing out and uh, uh, falls hey, back. Hey, hey. Uh. And the last thing he kind of mutters, I promised your mother. And that's where we're going to stop for tonight. Oh. <laughs> Here in the Deadwoods in a cave. On Dagobah. <laughs> On Dagobah. <laughs> Yeah. With a with a man you knew long ago, yeah. who apparently made a promise to your mother. Who oh, I <laughs> so until next week. Thank you all for joining us. Uh please, uh any inspiration or any uh what's in Kellen's mouth, which I rolled twice and unfortunately still nothing. Oh. <laughs> um send those to down with dragons mailbag at gmail.com uh also check out uh this episode and all other episodes are on youtube uh also check out new episodes of dungeon patrol as well reach out to us on facebook discord anywhere you can find down with dragons or monsters of role we always love to hear from anybody but until next week have a great week be good to each other be safe have a good week Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for the inspiration.